Today, we're gonna to talk about how to compose your contact center and along the way, help you simplify your job. Let's dive right in. We did our homework. We surveyed over 1,000 IT leaders, asking them a simple question. What keeps you up at night? You may find yourself somewhere in their responses, but five specific themes emerged. The very first one of those is on customer experience. So how do you find a better way to engage with your customers by implementing better solutions for your communications? Second, cloud migration is a very difficult thing that a lot of people are plagued with. That migration story, what does it look like to actually move your communications into the cloud? The third piece here, call reliability and quality. Am I gonna make sure that my calls are getting through and that they're at good quality so we can engage with customers the way that we need to? The fourth of these, cost savings. In this macroeconomic condition that we find ourselves in, we're dealing with how do we make cost efficiencies a part of our solution? And the fifth of these being speed of delivery. So accelerating the, the time to revenue, the time to benefit in implementing a new solution that helps to maintain that customer experience, which is that top theme. So all of these and the problem behind all of these challenges and why they're keeping IT leaders just like yourself up at night revolves back around an idea that we've coined here at Bandwidth called telecomplexity. Telecomplexity is simply put, taking the idea of telecom and complexity, smashing it together, but making sure that you realize it has real world challenges, real consequences. Solving telecomplexity means finding a solution that helps you overcome the challenges of dealing with distributed locations, different providers, confusing carriers and provider landscape across the world. A good example of this is that let's say that you have a contact center, you've got multiple different locations, maybe one in the UK, one in the US, and one somewhere else. You're likely dealing with different carrier vendors to help provide that voice connectivity into each of those locations. That means a different SLA, a different contract, different terms, and different support. So it can get really confusing and really complex fast. So we'd recommend looking for a solution that helps you overcome this by centralizing those carriers into a single carrier relationship. We actually worked with a customer of ours named DocuSign, who was able to do this for their global contact center. They had a contact center in 15 different locations, and they were able to take it from nine different carrier vendors down to using one. That's what we mean when we talk about centralizing. The second idea here when we talk about solving telecomplexity means finding a solution that helps you overcome the challenges of complex migrations and integrating best-in-class fraud, authentication, and AI tools within your communications workflow. These are both unique challenges in their own right. So when you're talking about complex migrations from on-premise or a mixture of hybrid or full cloud solutions, and you're talking about moving between the cloud or accelerating some of your digital transformation for those old outdated legacy contracts that you have, that's gonna require some work. It's gonna require you managing what that migration looks like and moving to the cloud. And while you're doing that, you're likely looking to all of these amazing innovations that have been brought to the market. Best in class tools across fraud prevention and spoof detection, um, voice bio authentication so that when you're listening to you and you're hearing someone call in, you can actually authenticate whether that's really who it is, if it's Travis or whoever that's called into your contact center. So these two elements here combine to an area of focus that we wanna present as the second piece to solving telecomplexity. It's making sure that you have a cloud solution that is integrated. So centralized, integrated, and then thirdly, we wanna talk about helping solve telecomplexity where telecomplexity presents itself around regulations and security and privacy rules. As you go global, this is exponentially more difficult to try to overcome. In addition to all of that, none of these other things matter if you're dealing with the potential risk of downtime. That can mean big losses in revenue, big losses in customer experience and engagement. And so all of this leads to our third critical pillar here, which means solving telecomplexity with a solution that is resilient. So these three core things are what we're focused on here at Bandwidth. We've actually imagined a way to help you achieve composability by simplifying telecomplexity. We've done this through a solution that we call Bandwidth Maestro. It's an award-winning solution, next-generation enterprise communications platform that addresses some of these composability 
and telecomplexity issues that we see in the contact center and in enterprise communications at large. I want to unpack two specific use cases where we've seen the benefits of bandwidth maestro provide that composability that helps you simplify telecomplexity. The very first use case is all about managing and introducing cloud resiliency into your contact center communications flow. So we've got a couple of, of ways that we've seen customers use sort of this pre-configuration of different failover scenarios in the cloud across a mix of different tools and elements that you can bring together using Bandwidth Maestro. The very first use case, we were working with a, a major insurance provider in the United States where they were looking at their contact center and they were looking at adding different resiliency layers between end-to-end -end call flows into their contact center. The very first consideration for them was looking at the toll-free voice call that oftentimes is the starting point for bringing that call into the contact center. Toll-free is notoriously one of those areas where you've got to find a way to make sure you build resiliency in. It's not enough to just have a single carrier network that's providing connectivity for all of your toll-free into your contact center. At Bandwidth, we've actually built a solution that leverages a multi-carrier or multi-vendor solution where we're able to fail over and route around potential issues in the contact center with that toll-free. If one of those major tier one carrier networks is down, we can actually do the work for you and you may not even know that anything's happened where we're routing around that outage. The second piece here is adding components to this call flow where this insurance provider was looking at how can we help to create more efficiencies between the toll-free call and when it gets to our contact center agent. One of those elements is a solution that we call call verification. It's a simple way of using uh, metadata to help us identify, is this caller or is this phone number something that's likely to be spoofed or potentially fraudulent? And then we can introduce additional business logic downstream in the call flow to make sure that we're helping to add some friction or, or vet that particular caller before it gets to a human agent. So we pick up that score, we hand it off to our fourth element here, which is called conversational AI. Um, we have a solution called AI Bridge that's part of Bandwidth Maestro that really helps to bridge this phone call that starts at the toll-free number for this insurance company and brings it to a virtualized agent, somebody who can interact with AI, help to offload and, and provide a little bit more of a self-serve model for customer support. But as we know, sometimes things don't end there, right? We need to escalate things up to an agent. And so at the very end of this call, we've introduced two potential ways for that call to end at a human agent. This particular customer is actually using an on-premise Cisco environment today, they have kind of this already built out in an on-premise world, and they're moving to the cloud. They're not going to move overnight, though. So they're kind of introducing a dynamic where they're able to connect from that conversational AI tool into this cloud-based Cisco WebEx calling solution. So their primary destination is on-prem, but as we know, sometimes things happen, and that particular location may need to fail over to this cloud-based solution. So we've introduced a way with a couple clicks of a button and a redistribution of this traffic to fail things over to the cloud-based Cisco platform. You go into Bandwidth Maestro, you're able to already have these elements pre-configured, and then a couple clicks of a button, you switch things over. And those calls continue to traverse into that human-based contact center using a cloud-based solution. This is just one way of adding that, that resiliency factor that we talked about. That's a, a huge way of helping to solve telecomplexity. The second use case is all about automating the customer experience. So some of these similar elements that we talked about in this last use case are integrated in this example. This particular example, and we're going to actually show a different way of getting to the contact center itself. So while toll-free voice is still a, a preferred element in a lot of ways, calling that, that toll-free number to get to some support for that enterprise, we're imagining a new way for consumers to contact the business that they're trying to get support from. This is what we call in-app calling. So you know, businesses are looking for ways to create a more seamless interaction. If they have a consumer facing app, let's imagine a banking example where you're online, you're checking your account and you need to contact somebody. You can easily use an in-app calling over WebRTC technology uh, to click to call. And what bandwidth is doing in this specific instance is treating both the toll-free call and that in-app call in the same way. So we're connecting to our core network 
And then we're able to route that call to any of the pre-configured integrations that a contact center or an enterprise wants to build into their flow. So in this example, we send that in-app call straight along to call verification. So it picks up that fraud or spoof likely score with the metadata that we're using, and it introduces to a conversational AI chatbot. Again, these are chatbots that are of the enterprise's choosing. So could be any number of the leading best-in-class tools that are out there today, where we've done the work to help pre-integrate with those so that you don't have to do that work. So this particular company was looking at introducing conversational AI as a way to help automate that customer experience. The way that they do this is they're looking to build out these AI-driven chatbots and voiceify those so that someone calling in can interact with one of those virtual agents and hopefully help resolve some of those issues in more of a self-service capacity. But as we all know, things don't always end at conversational AI. And so in a particular example like this, where we're dealing with the high stakes of a financial institution, we may need to add a capability on its way to a human-based contact center. In this example, we're using Genesis, a cloud-based contact center, their Cloud CX, CCAS. But we're also integrating something called voice authentication or voice biometric authentication. It's a way to identify, is this really the person that's calling and provide that level of authentication downstream into the contact center where that real agent can see the information that's presented on their screen and interact accordingly. All of this comes together, this pre-authentication, the conversational AI elements, the call verification, and then you know, at the very end, passing the call off to a real human agent to help with those escalated needs allows an enterprise to automate as much of the customer experience as possible while still delivering high quality customer experience along the way. This is all made possible as a prime example of a use case through Bandwidth Maestro. So with Bandwidth Maestro, we've envisioned a solution that allows you to simplify telecomplexity and achieve that composability that you're looking for for your enterprise. This is made possible through deep integrations, these pre-integrated solutions that we've brought into Bandwidth Maestro through a platform solution that allows you to compose, connect, and create those workflows to help you achieve that simplicity. Thanks for listening today. We'd love to have more conversations with you as you imagine the future in the cloud for your communications for your enterprise.